Hello, it's Travis here. I'm going to talk about Age of Empires 2 and how to defeat a moderate or even a hard level difficulty computer. Now obviously fighting a computer is very different from fighting a human, so this may or may not work against humans. What I did immediately is have two villagers immediately start building two houses. Use that third villager to start chopping wood, why not? And start creating extra villagers immediately. Use your initial 200 food. You want to move your sheep to your town center so that your villagers don't have to move very far and have the next four villagers start gathering food from those sheep. What I'm doing right now with my scout is looking for my bonus sheep and possibly some hunting. There's some hunting and there's my bonus sheep that the other scout was trying to steal. Like a douchebag. The other computer is a douchebag. Not to say I'm a computer, but he's a douchebag. So there's the boar. So what I'm doing right now is building a mill next to the boar. You may notice during this playthrough that I do not use my berry bushes. Now berry bushes are slow and they don't have that much food in the first place so they're really not the best source even though they are there and I use them as a backup in case I can't find the boar or the hunting or the bonus sheep. Use them for backup. Anyway, as you can see I have my villagers now working on the boars. I have three villagers right now working on gold. You should never need more than three on gold. If you said three in the dark ages to work on gold, by the time you hit feudal you should have enough gold to advance to castle immediately. And so, as you can see I'm working on sending some more villagers together wood. You want about, oh, twelve on food, twelve-ish on wood, and maybe three on gold. So that adds to a magical number of twenty-seven. You want roughly twenty-seven villagers, 27, that, that, yeah, okay, that's the right number, 27 villagers before you start thinking about advancing to the castle age. Now you can probably focus only on food and advance faster, however, if you advance faster you probably won't make it to castle faster. So this is the way to speed to the castle age. So right now I'm siphoning off my villagers one by one after exhausting the boars and the deer to start working on farms. One by one you want to have them start working on farms. It's easier than having them all go at once and waste all your wood at once. And as you can see in a moment here, I will use my extra villagers on wood to quickly make me a barracks right as I start to advance to the castle age, or excuse me, the feudal age, but we'll be at the castle so badge, there you go. And so one thing I'd like to point out is don't forget you have these villagers here working on wood. Uh, they can use, they can do other things besides sit there and chop wood for the next several hours of the game. As you can see, I quickly hit the feudal era, 1650 in the game clock, not that great, done faster, but whatever. So I'm now building two archery ranges when I get the chance, as well as several archers, which I'm going to use to rush the computer's wood stockpile. Whenever you're fighting a computer or even a, a player, you want to try to cut off their wood. That's the most, in my, at least in my opinion, the most important resource to cut off. If you cut off their wood, they can't build farms, so you've cut off their food essentially, and they're really limited in what they can do without wood. You can cut off their food, you can cut off their gold, they'll still get by somehow, as long as they have wood. So once you've cut off their wood, you can start picking off the other resources, such as the gold. So I've sent two archers over to the wood, I'm sending a couple archers over to the gold. Now obviously if you're fighting a hard or a player, you're going to want to send more than two at a time, but since it's a moderate level difficulty, I can kind of relax a little bit. Send over. Now, the reason I built two archer ranges isn't just to build archers quicker, it's to have one working on advancing to crossbowmen while the other is still producing archers, so I'm not wasting any time there. And from this point on, it's pretty much over. I've cut off his wood, I've cut off his gold. You just want to keep producing archers, maybe get a monastery down and sort of grab the relics while he's messing around and basically the old centuries old tactic of sieging we're just going to slowly surround his town center with archers so he can't leave it until he's exhausted his resources and he quits and that's the whole concept right there pretty simple okay so as far as stone as soon as i hit castle i sent three villagers over to stone immediately that's the first thing i do when i hit castle and from this point on now you can start focusing on upgrading your well, game's over. Tell you next time. Okay, bye.